everyone welcome back to another video so I'm out here today we actually have no plan for today we just decided to come out here so pretty much what we're doing going out going on a bit of an adventure I brought my mates out with me today got the cars as well and this is where the adventure is gonna begin so we're gonna jump in the cars hit some tracks maybe find some creeks to explore see what animals we can find and pretty much just have a bit of a fun day but yeah let's get into the adventure and have some fun actually off tap. a little coastal carpet python crossing the road right now now this road is actually pretty heavily used so what we're gonna do just move him off now you're not legally allowed to touch this species but I'm just gonna move him off the road I don't want him to get hit by a car see just here beautiful little coastal carpet python now these guys can be pretty aggressive oh he's so calm All right buddy so Just move him off to the side of the road. The last thing that I'd like to see is this little fella get hit by a car. Such a beautiful snake, and this is why you have to be so careful when you're driving on roads like this. Some people actually hook it around these corners. Got him off the road, we're gonna keep heading on our trip. We've got about 10 kilometers to go before we go to a nice little creek system, but well, that'll be so cool. Maybe get the rods in the water, go for a fish. But well, that's awesome, I love seeing snakes like this. So we're just setting up all the rods at the moment, getting it ready. We just found a little creek on the side of the road. So we're gonna go down to it, have a fish. If we catch an eel, we're gonna use that as shark bait tonight. If we catch anything else, we're gonna cook it up. And we'll just drop it out. We don't have a very big pool to work with, but there still should be fish in here. All right, so we drove all the way out here just to go to this creek system. It was a bit of an unsuccessful mission fishing, but back at home, I know a place where there is a massive eel that I could use as shark bait later tonight. So we went fishing last night and what happened to your rod? Uh, I lost two sharks. Yeah, you lost two massive sharks, may I add. They were absolutely huge, got heaps of runs. So that means the sharks are running. And I really want to get out there and get a big bull shark, but first off, we need to catch that eel. So we got a bit of a mish to get back home. How long is it? Like an hour and a half. Hour and a half to get back home. We're gonna gear up all the rods, all the shark rods, catch an eel hopefully, head down to where we're fishing tonight and hopefully get a big shark. You. This thing up here used to be a massive fire tower, hey, yeah, back yeah. in the day. So what did they used to do with like all the fire stuff? <laughs> no way, <wait. laughs> the fire stuff. And we just came up to this massive fire tower or what used to be a fire tower. So what happened with it? The rangers would come out here in the fire season and in the middle of that tower up there there's a big table that has a map on it and therefore when they see smoke from up in the tower they can talk to each other and say this is exactly where a fire is and we need to send units out there but it's not operational anymore not this one no. not this one
gegangen. So we just made it back to Mulaney and we're trying to catch this eel and we've just spotted a really big one under this bridge right here. I've got 40 pound line, a big chunk of meat on it. This is going to be our only chance. We've been looking for eels for so long. So we need to catch this one if we want to catch a shark later tonight. There we go. All right, so we've just hooked up to this eel right here. Perfect size for shark bait. Just scoop up the eel from the back. Get behind him just in case he does get off. Try scooping my mouth. Oh, hooked out, hooked out. Got yeah. him. He's too big to fit inside the esky. Yes, we got him. We got the eel. We're gonna head down to our shark fishing spot now catch a massive bull shark for you guys that's so good all right so we just got down to the beach we're at the shark fishing spot and take a look at how solid our bait is right there now this is the perfect bait for bull sharks now as i told you guys before we got a couple runs last night we've come back down here tonight and our goal is to get at least one bull shark if we got more it'd be a bonus but these sharks have eluded us so many times i've been fishing countless times down here got so many runs but they've just never hooked up and landed so today we've come back down here with this bait and we're gonna get one. Because these sharks have extremely sharp teeth and you don't want them to actually bite through your normal line. So we've got about 60 centimeters or so of wire trace right there, a big circle hook, and that's what's gonna catch this bull shark. We'll just start here. Isn't their skin one of the protections against predators? That's what they um, actually use as a defense mechanism if anything tries to attack them. And that's the other good thing about this bait is you chuck it out and all these little fish can't actually eat the meat off of it. And the fillet is just left sitting out there until a shark swims past it. That's the sound we want to hear. When that goes off, we'll know we'll get a shark. So we were actually out here fishing last night and we saw these really little catfish just coming up into the shallows and attacking shrimp. And they're actually the coolest thing ever. And they're using this hunting technique in the pack to do so. Now these guys are very poisonous. You don't want to pick them up or anything, but just take a look at how cool they are right there. You just wait until they come up into the shallows. What? Look at that. So they are actually small striped catfish. All right, so we're getting a run right now. So what I'm doing right now is I actually wanted to swallow the bait. So this circle hook hooks it in the corner of the mouth. Yeah, there we go. Which, up. which way is it going? It's just past 12 o'clock at the moment. We've hooked up to something. I'm not sure if this is a shark, actually. I really hope it is. Oh, I think it's a massive pike eel. Like an actually massive one. Yeah, it does look quite big. We've just caught a massive pike eel on a freshwater eel. They're literally eating their own kind. Take a look at that. That is a massive eel right there. That is truly a river monster. He opens his mouth up. Oh. He just tried to bite the camera. Incredibly. Oh, take a look at that. He just bit my foot. That's all right. We're going to let you go, buddy. Now there's no way of me getting him back into the water. Oh, oh. can you believe that? <laughs> I can't believe how aggressive this one eel is. Nearly there. Off he goes. Back out to take our other shark bait. So it's about two o'clock in the morning at the moment. We've been fishing here for so long. It's a bit, it's been like a crazy day. We've done so much driving, so much fishing and everything. It was so cool to not only catch that one eel in the freshwater creek, but to come down here and catch another eel on that eel. Getting bitten by it was really cool and seeing all those little striped catfish in the shallows. It's been a really cool day, done some cool adventures. And thank you so much for watching this video. I'm so annoyed that I didn't catch a shark in it. But trust me, before it gets too cold, I'm going to come back out here with a freshwater eel and catch a massive bull shark for you guys. So if you want to see a video like that, make sure you let me know in the comments section below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Go follow me on Instagram. I'm going to wind these rods in, head back home. 
Thank you so much. We'll see you again on the next adventure.